The reality is just even adding the I, most queer people cannot tell you what intersex means. Most people just don't know what intersex means. Intersex is an umbrella term for people born with sex traits, like genitals, reproductive organs, and chromosomes that fall outside the traditional conception of male or female bodies. There's over 35 different variations of how one can be intersex, and we represent 2% of the population of the world, which is as much as people have red hair or green eyes or twins. So it's a lot of people, but, you know, it's not really talked about. River's an actor, filmmaker, and intersex activist. They're also one of three stars of the film Everybody that shines a light on the intersex community. That is exciting. It's still kind of weird thinking about that there's a documentary all about my life, only because for so long I wasn't open about talking about being intersex. I think there's just this history and humanity of seeing things through a binary lens. It has infiltrated to the point where the medical establishment also sees things through black and white, male and female. I was born without testicles and at 12 was told and I then was put on testosterone to go through puberty and at 16 had a surgery to implant prosthetic testes in me. The idea being if I looked anatomically completely male that I'd be like normal and you know would just be like a normal boy. The joke and all that was was that later I came out as non-binary and so the surgery like didn't affirm my gender at all. According to the Human Rights Watch, starting in the 60s, it became the norm for doctors to start surgically assigning intersex babies as male or female at birth. The practice was based on a debunked study from psychologist John Money. Reports now show these medically unnecessary surgeries on intersex children can cause irreversible physical and psychological harm. But they still happen. All the medical practices that were imposed on me as an adolescent and like as a teenager were all informed in this huge lie. There have been some baby steps forward in the fight to end these surgeries, but on a whole, it's very slow moving. Now, River's using their experience as an intersex person to make films with intersex representation, and they're fighting to ban non-consensual surgeries. I think the idea of fixing intersex people comes from this idea that we're broken, which is a complete fallacy. It's just we don't live in a system that has a framework to accept a difference in gender and a difference in sex. It's just been such a blessing to realize that you could shine a light on the darkest parts of yourself. It could end up changing your relationship with yourself, like it did for me, and also change the way people felt about themselves and about gender and like start a whole new conversation about what it means to be intersex.